The Reup. What an inspirational one. That one titled Mountain right here on Trans Africa Radio. 872 on DSTV's audio bouquet 609 on Open View HD. This is the re My name is Shayla. And joining us in studio is the oh so gorgeous, oh so amazing, oh so talented Nigerian songstress. Waje, how are you doing, ma'am? I'm fabulous. How are you? I'm good. I'm good. I'm actually glad to see you in studio. We've been playing your music, you know. Thank you. Thank you, know? you for showing me so much love. I'm really glad to be here today. So, yeah. All right. How's your day looking so far? Yeah. Well, huh, it's been tough today. Yeah. Um, we've been because uh, I'm shooting a video tomorrow. Yeah. There's a song on my album um, called "For Your Love" mm. that features Yemi Alade. So, and um, both of us are coaches on The Voice Nigeria, and you know we shoot here. So we just yeah. decided, you know what, well, let's use that opportunity and shoot as many videos as we can. Oh wow! And tomorrow we we are shooting. So I've been going crazy you know my stylist is here so she's been putting me in stuff and you know just trying to make sure that we have a good shoot tomorrow okay that's why you two are slaying uh, well i don't know about <laughs> slaying shao <laughs> 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 because as i day i don't tire but yeah you know <laughs> Alrighty, so i found out that your name means uh well correct me if i'm wrong yes words aren't just, just enough. enough yes talk us through that well um sometime in 2000 and in 9, 10, I met, so I had always answered Waje as part of my name because I'm from the southern part of Nigeria. Yes. Well, southwest, yeah. Yeah. So it's um, my full name is Aitwaje. Yeah. Iwobi. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> so, but by in my house, you know, like you have, you know how you have nicknames. So they call me Aitwa. So mm. I think that's so Aitwa is like the short form of my name. Yeah. So when I was looking for a name to, you know, like a name to start my career with, I thought, why don't I take the remaining half, uh, which mm. is, which sounds unique as well, which is Waje. Yeah. So I, I started working with a guy. Um, there's a, there's a, there's an artist in Nigeria called General Pipe. He's um, a reggae artist and his manager was also very good friends with me. And he was like, okay, so tell us, how do you describe yourself? I was like, hey, I'm so full. Um, <laughs> I'm a queen, you know, just, <laughs> I went that route. And he was like, why you just simply say words aren't just enough to describe you. And he clicked. I was like, yeah, that's my name. W for words. Mm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, yeah, and it stuck. Oh, wow. Well, that's amazing. So take us through this journey. I know that you were in choir at some point. Yeah. Uh, during primary, if I'm not mistaken, secondary school. Yes, And yes. Then you got some form of sponsorship. Yes, and because I could sing. Yeah. Yes. Um, I, so um, the late Albisher Ben Sini Dahusa was the owner of my school. May he so rest in peace. So um, yeah. one of those times, I, I was 13 at the time, mm. and um, I sang in church. And yeah. he was like, oh, you have great talent. So from now on, I'll sort your fees. And that's wow. how... I got scholarship to study in wow. secondary school. Yeah, <laughs> crazy, crazy. That's that, that that's uh, crazy. I want to find out. Mm -hmm. You spoke of Yemi Alade mm -hmm. and the new uh, single that you guys are working, working on. That's on, gonna be yeah. on the album, right? Yeah. And we just started the uh, the interview with you and Lira. Yeah. What do you think about? Because in most cases, I've heard individuals, especially in, in the industry, speak of you can't have two powerful voices on a song, especially females, because they overcrowd each other. What do you think about the the, the industry trying to separate women and, and keep them away from each other and not give them time to time shine to each, each, sh yeah. to, together yeah I, I think really is it shouldn't be up to the industry you know so the, you know the saying the way you lay your bed is how you lie on it yes. you know mm. and I think it's the same because you look at the male artists you know today Whiskey is working with Drake next tomorrow um, um, Jay-Z is working with Kanye mm -hmm. David O is working with um um nice to see yeah. you know yes. Yes. like everybody's really the guys are doing it they understand the intercultural value of the entertainment industry because music is a language they also understand that it represents who we are so why should we as women not also enjoy that yes so i think it's even i think it's even more fun to work with another woman who is yeah. also as strong because then you guys stand for something other than it just being about the lyrics and the music and the melody but it's about your culture it's about you know us mm. being women and being strong and representing properly you know so wow mm -hmm. so besides yemi alade yeah who are we looking to collab in this particular in this project album? that's coming out yes um to be honest i i'm actually done 
um, working for the album for oh. this particular EP. I'm actually done, really. Okay. But I'm still looking forward to working with other people. Like, I got in um, two weeks ago, mm -hmm. and there's this DJ that I met who I really, really love from here. And he's been sending me tracks, DJ Noah. So mm. he's been sending me tracks, and then, you know, I just say, you, know, you know what? I like your music. You know, he's he may not be really popular out there, but, yeah. you know, I just yeah. love... Music is what it is. It's... it's, it's um, it, there, there's an emo emotion yes. that comes with it and it, as long as you get me through that emotion i'm ready to work with you so yeah so i'm wor i'm still working with different people you may not make this album mm -hmm. but what what who says i can have four albums before the year ends no. why not <laughs> actually that's a good question yeah why not? so yeah so that yeah I want to talk about this emotion situation. When I found out about you, probably yeah. it was super late. Yeah. Uh, but I, I found, I found <laughs> out at the end of the Hallelujah. day. Hallelujah. Um, it was a left for good, right? Oh, great, um, with, great. with Godwin Strings and, and, and part of yes. uh, um, What comes to mind, because we listen to Mountain right now, mm -hmm. and someone would say it's two totally different angles as far as yeah. your variety and, and yes. the music that you make. I want to find out your your processes when it comes to making music is it led by emotion as you said it or, is definitely yeah? is led by emotion led by um wherever i am in life because at the time i wrote left for good i was just living a relationship mm. and we used to live together so uh, you know mm. the power i say it's um it's this is not a countdown for regre regrets it's a bad relationship yes mm. um around the plus you pass the test now i got more space in the closet for my pet because mm -hmm. i had a ca <laughs> i had a cat <laughs> i had a cat <laughs> yeah his name is trey yeah so i was like yeah you you're gone so trey can take <laughs> your place now <laughs> no, trey's living <laughs> the life so yeah so you know many times my music is really about where i am and what space i'm in and because I'm an individual and a woman, I feel like there are other women that can connect because we've been heartbroken you know, quite a number of times. So we've enjoyed love, you know, we've we've laughed, we've mm. cried. There are different emotions that come with life, not only women, but even men, you know. So I, I feel like that was what music should be, just me expressing myself and people finding a piece of themselves through my music. Yeah. Wow. Right. The beautiful song stress all the way from Nigeria, Waje in the building. We're actually going to play that one. Left for Good featuring Potter Ranking with Godwin Strings as yes. well. Yay. The beaut is in the building. Yes. Left for Good right here on Trans Africa Radio. 872 on DSTV's audio bouquet. 609 on Open View HDs, which you're currently tuned into. This is The Re-Up. My name is Shayla. And I do this every day, Monday to Friday, 5 to 8 p.m. CAT with Mr. Tokozo Bougie. Yeah, and joining us in studio tonight is the beautiful, talented, amazing Mike <laughs> Jerian. Did you hear that? That accent thing that she was doing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right? <laughs> You're trying to hold yourself together. Just relax. Come on. Alrighty, so let's talk about your very first album released mm -hmm. on the 1st of May 2013. Mm -hmm. What headspace were you in? Because you spoke about emotion and yeah. how that feeds so much into the music you yeah. put out there. What? Where were you in that space? Um, it, I was... I think for that very first album, it was more of a confused space okay <laughs> because the, the album took a while you yeah know? so i still had songs from 2010 and 2009 i had yeah. songs that had done 2012 and you know mm. in 2013 so it wasn't really like it didn't take me like a year or maybe just two years you know mm. i had the album had been long awaited so there were times when i you know i was in um I was in a love space and then I'll write a love song, yeah. you know, and then there were times when I would just be like, man, this girl is fly. She is, <laughs> she is the hottest <laughs> chick in town. So I write, a, <laughs> I write a song like Fine Girl, yeah. and, you know, so it was just pretty much a, um, a journey of, you know, how I, I was very selfish about that album. It was literally about me and nobody else. And what traction did it receive in Nigeria? It, it did very well, as a matter of fact. Um, the, the album got nominated for um, categories on the World Music Awards, including oh. Best Female um, Performer and Best Album. And it was Femi Kuti and I that were the only representatives from Africa. So that was really Whoa. a blessing. Wow. That's yeah. amazing. Yeah. Awesome stuff. Uh, really dope. I, I want to find out more about the, the voice. 
Yes. I'm going to get into it, right? Mm-hmm. I want to find out about being a, the, a coach, as they call it on The Voice, right? Yeah. Um, What's it like? Because we see, especially from West Africa, on yeah. this side of the world, West Africa releases a lot of, of music, music and a lot of artists. Yeah. And half the time, you're like, how do I pick and choose? Because now most of this sounds dope. And yeah. So how's it working with that, that kind of talent that's coming out of the West and mm-hmm. being a coach when you are also trying to release your own things? Yeah. So that's sort of the same kind of market as yeah, well? Yeah, yeah. I think what, what makes it different and a little bit easier for us is that it's the the voice, not necessarily the music. So mm. I don't, for me as a coach, I don't necessarily pay attention to the genre, you know, or the style of music or, or however you, you, know, you might put it. I'm mm. just there for the technique, the, the yes, your vocal technique and you know your the dexterity of what you can do with your voice yeah so that way even if it's um fuji for example or it is r&b or you know or if it's house music it's really about how you can deliver vocally so that that sort of lifts the pressure from me to you know focus on that so yeah as long as you can sing a note thought you left me for bad you can you know Mm. that way you can get training there's really no bad voice as long as the person can and also some people are tone deaf Mm. and for me that's like the foundation of music yeah you can't recognize a tone then it's not it's impossible for me to say sing it like this and you follow me you would always go with what you think in your head and yeah. your, what you're thinking in your head may not necessarily be what the music is it's, really yeah yeah so i feel like those two things are the most important you know not being tone deaf and you can you can at least carry your notes that way any coach can sort you up but carrying notes doesn't necessarily impress judges does it now well, you would have gone through a lot of experience, training, yeah. and you know, and training not only just to um, carry the note, but also to sweeten your tone. You know, like mm. there's a girl on my team who I, I gave her that's her own assignment to make sure that she sounds sweet. Because sometimes you may be very great as a singer, mm. but your your voice can sound really dry, and mm. that's because you don't pay attention to you know try you don't do exercise because there are these exercises to help you know the resonance to help you know your voice feel how do I put like velvet very mm. silky yes. yeah exactly yeah. so when you don't do all these things it's only natural for you not to sound nice no matter how great technically you are as a singer yeah. Yeah, oh, wow. so we were watching, uh, well, I was watching a South African um, t- talent show where okay. individuals were singing and they were getting judged, sort of similar to The Voice. And uh, there was this guy that came in, mm-hmm. and I want to find out from you, this guy, yeah. I didn't know because I'm yeah. not uh, that great at yeah. finding out what yeah. was happening. But w- after that guy sang, they were like, you you imitated instead yes. of sa- singing. Sing, sing it, so yeah. so how do how does one differentiate when when someone does a really good imitation of Waje? Yeah. Right. And yeah. do the, is that does that mean they can sing or is it a great imitation? Let me give you an example. If you're there's a show now like a talent show and someone goes and does a Whitney Houston song or a Mi- Michael Jackson song, these mm. are legends and yeah. you already know the song, so you can't even do it as great as Michael Jackson would do it. So the best way is for you to make it your own and do it in your own way, your own interpretation of the song. Mm. But if you try and sound like Michael, you will not, it will just be really irritating because you can't sound like Michael. You you get what I mean? So I think that's what um, they meant. Because when you make a song your own, it's it's, it's just, you open the the, the eyes of your audience to a different way of delivering that song, which will be even more appreciated than you trying to copy someone else. You know what I mean? Mm. Yeah. I also want to find out. Yeah, yeah, no no problem. (laughs) I want to find out about um because you said you you did a lot of songs in the yeah. first album from 2010 and, yeah, and yeah. so on until 2013 when you yeah. dropped it i want to find out that the writing process we've seen the who has on and in, in the on the west of the world where yeah. people aren't writing their songs and all of that we know huge stars out there pop yeah. stars and all of that yeah. that don't write their songs where do you stand when, when when it comes to that do you prefer to write all your songs would you not mind if i were to send you my song yeah. and be like hey YJ, yeah. i feel like th- you could do better at, yeah. at delivering initially to be honest i thought that you know me writing my songs showed i was you know capable yeah you know like 
a genius. Yeah. yeah. But the thing is, it doesn't always happen like that. You mm. know, there are times when for a full year, I've had that experience for a full year, I couldn't write a, a song. I couldn't write a lyric. I'll listen to what I'm trying to create and it doesn't sound great to me. Mm. And then you're wasting time. But you see, there are people that are blessed with this thing and they're professionals. It's like me trying to produce a song. I may be great, but one has to suffer. It's either my writing skill suffers or my mm. production skill suffers or my vocal skill su- suffers, you know. Mm. There, there are exceptions to the rule, yes, but it doesn't happen for everybody. So if I get the opportunity to meet someone who's going to, you know, write a song that will be nominated for the Grammy and my name is on it, why wouldn't I want to explore that option? You get what I mean? Yeah. So it's like a banker trying to be the cashier, trying to be the gate man, <laughs> trying to be the girl, you know, the the the, 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 con- the the architect of the building yeah. and still the managing director of the whole company. Yeah. It doesn't make sense. Mm. We all have our different strengths. So you know, letting someone actually help you out is it, is something. It's it's strength in itself. You know. So. Yeah. And have you received that uh, platform where somebody's come up to you and said, "Listen, oh, Roger." Yes, I have on this album, yeah. I have songs that are not even written by me. I have songs that, you know, the, the, the song I'm, I'm releasing in, um, on the 8th, on Friday, mm-hmm. it's, it's totally not written by me. You know, oh. the, the verse is written by a guy called Sizu Pro, who is an amazing um, producer. He produced the song as well. Mm. So the verse is written by him. The chorus is written by him. The second verse is written by my brother and I. So, and it's going to be a hit. And at the end of the day, we are <laughs> all going to make money. That's all so <laughs> that's what matters. <laughs> that's literally what matters. Not who wrote it. Yeah. So. Oh, uh, mm-hmm. in studio with us, the beautiful songstress Waje right here on Trot's Africa Radio. This is the re up. In a space where. I'm enjoying life. It was my birthday on the first. Oh my oh, God. Such a happy yes, belated boo Thank, you. <laughs> oh, yeah, happy thank belated. you. My daughter, yeah. who's 18, is going to university. Oh. So I feel like a young lady again, like a teenager. So there we go. I'm <laughs> so I'm looking forward to doing stuff, you know, like doing new stuff and mm. traveling and enjoying myself because the baby of the house is going. And then uh, also, I'm in a space of love. I'm enjoying everything that life is giving to me. Probably because I've matured a little more. Yeah. So I'm understanding that, you know, you take it a day at a time. But also, every experience you never experience again. So it's best to enjoy it and relieve the moments mm. before, you know, it, it, it passes. So, yeah, that's why I decided everything about the album is it's fun. It's more upbeat. Mm. Yes. So a lot of dance tracks, a lot of me, you know, really enjoy myself and feel like a kid, really. Uh, Literally, yes. Mm. I'm experimenting um, with sound. I'm experimenting with sound, definitely, you know. And yeah, I'm just, it's its a reborn and emancipation. Abby, what do you call it? Eh? I did it speak the English. Yes. <laughs> yes. Tell me, <laughs> you, you, you talk about a beat and, and, yeah. and, and being the waje that, a lot yeah. of people thought you yeah. weren't, right? Yeah. And yeah. this is you now on, yeah. on the, on the yeah. new album. Uh, I want to find out because I was just on Apple Music now. Mm-hmm. And I'm like, oh, when did we, where did we miss this? Heavy <laughs> K yes. and YJ on one song, really? Yes, yes. And how was that? Because we listened to house music, but we didn't, I, I, I missed out on, I'm going to have to talk to Heavy K about that. There's a well, <laughs> it's, it's a long story. I'm yeah? sorry. Because... <laughs> He's not in my good books. I'm sorry. I'm saying it on air. Yes, he's not. Because, you know, for me, um, you know, when, especially when it's about two different cultures, you want to meet people that respect you and Mm. you want to respect them back, you know. But when someone takes that for granted, you just, it makes you feel some type of way. Yeah. And so for me, I just didn't think that um, he, he respected my brand enough. You know, and he, because that song was released without my consent. Oh. It, I didn't even hear the the final mix. Nothing. I, it was so. It was. It was just a bad. But but the good thing is I've also worked with Lira, so I know it's not the way people behave here. Mm. You know what I mean? Yeah. So I just think it's a personal thing, and I'm gonna tell him when I see him, whenever I see him. But I'm sorry, he's not in my good books. Ah, my brother, <laughs> Andrew John. Hey, this guy. Uh, take us through in the air. Yeah. What's going on there? Because we're gonna listen to it for the very first time right now. Yeah. Yeah. So we want an interlude to understand what are we about to hear. So for me, okay. it's love. It could be anything to to you some other person it can be joy whatever it is and then it's also 
Um, it has in, in the sound. It has a little bit of. It's, it has a reggae influence, but also it's pop in mm, the making. Yeah, mm. very sing alongish and also very anthemish in a way. Yeah. So it's just. Uh, what? Well, hey, which way you go now? <laughs> <laughs> You know, like when you, when you, what, what are those things, um, Tolani, that those drinks that have a lot of ice and then the brain freeze you? Slush. slush yeah, 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 that's yeah. what it is. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so it's a slush to me. Okay. <laughs> okay. Yeah. The beautiful songstress all the way from Nigeria, Waje, has joined us in studio and we need to wrap up this interview. Hold yeah. up, hold but up, hold up. But before we do that, I know, B, hold you're up. about the ladies. F- uh, <laughs> <laughs> I want a million dollar question. So, watch it. Yeah. Um, in case you're hearing this for the first time, we play 100% African music 24 7. Shout out to you guys for yeah. that. Those Amazing. Because we have to you know, support our own and we have great stuff. Mm. So, why not you know, enjoy the music coming from here? It's right now, everyone is you know, getting onto the African sound. You listen to all the international artists. Everybody's trying to find a way to mm. you know, get their music to sound like ours. So, mm. we need to start appreciating it. And, yeah. So who are you listening to right now besides yourself? Hmm, let's see. Who am I listening to? Oh well, I love Lira. I've chased Lira <laughs> for so long. When we when we finally met, I yeah. showed her an email I sent to her in 2011. Oh wow. Telling sent to her. <laughs> yeah. Say, oh, wow. Girl, I love your music and one day <laughs> we will work together. Oh, wow. You know? Gosh, so wow. it was such a Great. blessing. And she's so, she's heaven, honestly. Mm. She's welcomed us into her home. She's family to me. So I listen to a lot of Lira, by the way. Yeah. Mm. And and um, uh, who else? Uhuru. Oh, God. I, DJ Black Coffee. Yeah. I'm a groupie. I met him. <laughs> I swear. I met him in, yeah. I think I, it was in Dubai at, at the airport. Yeah. Do you know that? I was so starstruck. I didn't go say hi. I was just literally walking behind him. <laughs> <laughs> I'm serious. And he was going, he was, because I was flying back to Nigeria. I yeah. think he was going to the UK. So, you know, the business class lounge is where we were. Yeah. We're different. But I literally walked, I was walking <laughs> behind him. He was going and I just, I didn't say hi. I said, don't don't look like you know <laughs> don't be a groupie yeah don't not necessarily if, I don't mind being a groupie I'm saying yeah. on, I'm his groupie yeah. but I just I didn't want a situation where you know you just say hi and you know we get that especially in Africa you say hi to someone you really love and they are looking at you like uh yeah, what are you <laughs> yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. <laughs> so <laughs> I didn't want that and actually I was leaving SA yeah. but I, I, I had to fly to Dubai and then fly back to Nigeria so he was literally on the same flight I didn't say a word Oh my we gosh. got to the Goodness. airport and I was telling him like that. You know. <laughs> 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 got to girl. Oh no, I'm a huge fan of DJ Black Coffee. Yeah. To be honest, yeah. So Perhaps. these are the people and you know people like that that I listen to. I'm I'm a fan of Heavy K, mm, honestly. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Because I remember um, there was a time I really wanted to look because I used to be bigger than this. I wanted mm. to lose weight, and the song with him and Boosie oh, was yeah. I I put it back to back on repeat. So when I'm jogging and usually in the mornings I do three to four miles. I'm um, it's that's the song my wow. headphones so i'm uh i'm very patriotic with african music wow, wow. all right dope it's absolutely amazing where can we find you on social media official yj on instagram mm-hmm. please follow me guys follow me help my market <laughs> i want to blow man <laughs> skid it do the right thing um yes and official yj on twitter as well yeah. is yj on facebook yeah. and um um, official YJ on Google Plus and the the website by God's grace <laughs> is gonna be out <laughs> very soon. But yeah, just follow me on all my social media and then I'll keep you posted on every other thing. All right. okay. Like literally follow me now as you're listening to me. <laughs> 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 so ladies are meant to Jay and all of now where they listen to me right now. This now your girl with it called W A J E Y J, you know the sexy velvet queen in the house. And yes, Trans Africa Radio is about to premiere the one and only song I never hear for on a live button. I know say this is not the bother song where to play for your radio. It is in the air. Listen and be blessed. This, this, this is Trans Africa Radio.